Oh boy, do we have some controversy today, folks. Jandy Joker photos have just came up, and they are extremely controversial. Let's talk about it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Riley Reviews back again with a reveal video, and today is a big one with JD Studios now showcasing some quick a little little tease of what's to come, but our full set of what we're gonna be receiving from their new 1-6 scale line and their new Heath Ledger Joker. Of course, not really new Heath Ledger because there's like a million on the market, but before we get into all the controversy and why this is all stemming. Make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe, and bang the bell notification so you don't miss any future content. We are 40-something subscribers away from the big 3,000 subs. So if you haven't already, just, just pause it right now. We're going to get into all the, all the info and, and my thoughts on it and the community's thoughts on it. But make sure you do that because we want to get there before Christmas and we're going to get make sure it gets done. But oh, let's get into it. Here it is. We, we waited. We waited about like a week. They teased it. I made a video on it earlier. But now we have the photos of what... You're getting what you're getting with these figures and now i'm gonna get into it now let's let, let's go into the first one this is the first set this is type i think a might be wrong let me know <laughs> i'm not gonna confirm that but i think this is a this is the a version which is the obviously the cheapest option now what does everybody think about this i think this is something that a lot of people have wanted they wanted a rooted single joker because as we all know the controversy of having two jokers rooted with the inner art pack is like one of the biggest controversies out there They're like why did they do it where you were um limited to having to get two for rooted hair but now here you don't have to do that you really don't but that does not mean it's going to be cheap and we're going to get into that in, in, a, in a little bit but i'm going to discuss the um the rumored prices on these but so far as i could see this is what you're getting and it is very bare bones i will say that's the that was my first impression when i first saw this i was like hold on hold on man that, this is looking a little it's looking a little light and and honestly i feel like we kind of should have expected this because j and d are known to be very simplistic with their pieces obviously i mean i'm, I'm not trying to flex or anything but i have a j and d statue here and there's not really much it comes with it's just the statue itself maybe we should expect more different stuff because it's a figure more extra stuff because it's a whole different thing but I think J and D they mainly want to focus on having the best likeness um, and accuracy, accurate figures. That that is the most important thing above all accessories, etc., uh, gimmicks, etc., stuff like that. That's kind of like their like second tier. It's not really what they're prioritizing. So I see why they don't include that much, but they're offering a lot for this, which we're going to get into, which is why a lot of people are getting a little nervous, but. Um, yeah, you get your cards, you get the, if everyone thinks there, no, that isn't a, that isn't some type of toy or anything. It's not a, it's not a, anything like that. It's going to be the magnetic feature where you're able to move the eyes so I can zoom in. Cause I know people are like, what the hell is that down there? So yeah, that's how you're going to be able to move the eyes. We saw that in the video. So that's how you're going to be able to do it. You got your seamless arms here um, on the left. You got the, some couple of hands, just like I said, not really much. There's not a lot here that to, to work with, but let's get into the next set, which I believe is this one right here. This is going to be the type b i believe so this is your type b where you're going to be getting the figure a head sculpt that you could swap with it and two dogs from the movie which honestly i'm like do we really need that probably not but it is kind of cool like you got to pat them on the backs for trying something different i mean they could have just done what every other company has done they're like shit we got to do something different here like we can't have the exact same thing as hot toys and art so i think that it was a is it a little risky maybe maybe people don't really care about this yeah but it would also be kind of cool like to have them on this like really nice like museum-esque base and then you got the two dogs in front of them that's pretty unique i know there's three dogs in the film i know people have been talking about that so people are like why didn't they include three i don't know having three dogs on the shelf maybe it would cast away the importance of the actual figure people would be like why do you have three dogs maybe that's what it is i don't know but i think that's interesting and you also get this is interesting we get you can barely see it I, I'll, I'll solo it but you get a look of the second sculpt which actually is a smiling sculpt which we are not used to seeing with these figures because if you didn't know there's like a million jokers on the planet that have been announced by companies but they are the first ones to actually do like a laughing one hot toys did one a long time ago where he's laughing and obviously i actually have it right here but he is not aged as gracefully this is a very old figure but 
this new one right here, the smiling one is obviously new updated. It's going to have incredible paint apps with the silicone. And yeah, it looks pretty damn good from what we can see. That's like the closest we can see to the likeness. And I think in my opinion, it looks great. It doesn't look like something we have to see more photos. It doesn't look like I'm like, holy shit. That's like exactly Heath Ledger. This is insane. This is like a 10 and a million out of 10. I don't think so. It, it's probably better than the inner, but like, like a little bit better from the photos that we could see right now. could be a lot better when we get the entire look, which I wish they showed. They only show these two photos, but yeah, you get the dogs really honestly confused. I don't, can somebody answer why they gave a chair, but no table and no diorama? I don't know. I, I to me, I don't understand why there's a chair. Like, did they expect collectors to just have them sitting there on the chair and no base or they wanted them to go on the wood base but the wood base isn't accurate because the chair is for the prison interrogation scene which was a steel floor i believe i don't know it's a weird one let me know in the comments below what you think about that so i'm not a fan of why they included that i don't think that was necessary i don't think a lot of people are just gonna have that sitting in the box honestly but yeah you can see though for the two sets when you're jumping up from the single to the to the to this updated or upgraded pack you're getting the same amount of accessories, which is another thing that is controversial to a lot of people out there. What are your guys' thoughts on this and girls? I don't know. I, I feel like since you are taking that price hike up, I get you're getting the dogs, you're getting the table, and you're getting another base, but I I don't know. It's weird because you don't get a second body with this, which I'm now realizing. So you have to just switch these. You could just switch the one figure with the one head sculpts on different bases very very strange honestly I, I i don't know i i think i think this one i oh know maybe the last one's the biggest miss for me but we're gonna keep getting into it but yes this is what we're getting it's the same amount of accessories and then you get this which is the this is the the cream de la creme this is the most expensive that's gonna cost an arm and a leg obviously but you are getting two bodies controversy with the nr one two bodies and you're getting the same amount of accessories you're getting two jackets so you can actually have two purple coat jokers which is a nice addition i think that was good smart of them to do but you're getting the same amount of stuff like i said before you're, the only difference here is that you're getting a new body obviously you're going to be able to put the second sculpt on that body so you don't have to have a sculpt just sitting there which is obviously you don't want to have your sculpt just sitting in a box but i don't know i feel like it's it's interesting. I feel like they could have hit more here. That's my first impression. When I first saw this, I was like, huh. Like, this is very, obviously impressive. Like, I'm not saying that this is bad or anything or they're, they're, they did a terrible job. Of course not. This looks, this is impressive. But I feel like they just missed the ball in other aspects. Like, no one can get a perfect just Joker pre-order done correctly. I feel like there's always controversy when it comes to these. That's just my opinion. Even with the NR1, like people said, I understand why people are upset that they made it where you had to get a two-pack for the rooted hair. I can see why people want a single pack. I actually have the two set right above me, you can see. And I myself question, do I need, did I need these two jokers? Probably not. Honestly, I if there was a one pack that was $500, I would have gotten that. I would not have gotten the two pack. It's still amazing. I love the jail cell aspect, but it's just not something that I just needed. Like it wasn't a necessity. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. So going back to this, one of the most things that was interesting is the price. So apparently this is not confirmed. This is rumored, but I believe one six kit or big British. So shout out to him. They both said in a post somewhere that it is apparently the single pack right here is going to be USD prices right here. $800 somewhere around there. Maybe more, maybe a little less, but the rumored price is $800 for this. And in my opinion, $800 for this is criminal. I think it's criminal. I think it's, I think it's insane. I think that this is extremely overpriced for what you're getting. Just because I understand. I understand it's JND. I understand it's silicone. They have to um, up the price for that. But I feel like at least in for US collectors... Maybe I'm wrong, but most of us are priced out when it comes to this. There's not, there's not that that valuable aspect here. For me, the in art one having the two pack, the except the diorama piece, all, the buttload of accessories got it made more sense. But I feel like 800 
for this is an extremely tough ask. And again, for other people, it might not be at all. Maybe I'm just, I'm just talking crazy and we have to expect this, but I feel like just $800 for what I'm seeing right here. There's nothing there that makes it worth it in my eyes. Again, there's not multiple photos we're seeing. So maybe I'm, I'm a little casting judgment too soon, but I don't know. I just think $800 for this is, I get it. It's the most, I actually saw in a post, shout out to Daniel. He let me know that this is the most accurate from what we can see, um, likeness and, um, tailoring, um, everything about the actual suit and outfit is like the best one we've seen it's better than the inner just looks wise, which I do agree. I think, it, I think it is, I think it is for sure, but I just feel like for the price they're offering. And like I said, this might just be the problem with us us collectors. Maybe this just isn't for us. This isn't the main market they're targeting. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I just feel like 800 for this is, is just such a tough ask in my opinion. And it's, it's an interesting one, but yeah, that's 800 and the two, the second version, this one right here is apparently 1200. So you're paying an extra 400 for the head sculpt, the second head sculpt, the two dogs and the wooden base. I think that's the, and the chair, right? Yeah. The chair. Again, I still feel like just any, all these prices are just very, very concerning. Even this for 1200 to me is just like, damn. So you're paying, because I paid exactly 1095 for the in art suit pack. That's what I paid. I think that's what everyone paid if you went through with one six kit. They're reputable, so you can check them out. That $100 more, or yeah, $100 more, and this is what you're getting. Compared to the in art where you get the jail scene diorama, the way bigger wooden base, a bunch more of accessories, like tons and tons of more accessories, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of this is very just, I don't know. That's my first impression. So, and, and again, this, these two sets, the silicone hands where you can move the fingers, this is confirmed. You cannot get that with this set with this one. You can't move the fingers with this one. You cannot move the fingers, but with the final set, this is the only version where you can have that feature with the movable fingers. And you're looking for this one apparently is 2000. USD apparently 2000. Yes, that is, that is the rumor. I don't know if it's going to be a hundred under that 200 under that 200 over that, but that is the rumored price. And I still think that that is insane. And another reason why I, I didn't conflicted is why did they make it where you had to get this set for the movable fingers? Why did they make it that, that new innovation that, that makes their company so different from others? make it only where you had to go in the all-in set. This is the same, in my opinion, mistake that Inart made by limiting it, the rooted hair to two packs. They did, they basically did the exact same thing here, where you can only move the fingers if you get the most expensive set. So, I don't know. So you're paying an extra $800 for a second body and a jacket, two jackets. And is that it? It is right. Yeah. I think you're literally getting, yeah, you're getting the second body and the jackets. And obviously, like I said, the movable silicone fingers for an extra $800, $800 for that. I don't know. But like I said, this might just be like, like I said, this is not really our market. This could be a whole different ballpark. They're just targeting something else that, that, 3%, that 5% of collectors who are like, I don't care. I could spend as much as I want on figures and this looks absolutely beautiful and I'm going to do that. So that could just be what it is. It is what it is. They're not really looking for people like us who, who are trying to not spend <laughs> those type of prices. So, but that's my just thoughts. I think that it's very, um, like I said, controversial. This is the reason why. And another controversy is that it's Heath Ledger Joker. And I understand why this company did that. They probably worked on Heath Ledger Joker for years now. So I don't really blame them for doing another Heath. I know people are like, why did they do it? But like, you have to understand that this company has been working on this for ages. They probably worked on it for three years at least. And Inart wasn't even in the game or in the fold at that point. So it is what it is. It's competition. And this is going to be their most obviously comp competitive figure with Inart and Hot Toys. But yeah, that's kind of my whole thoughts of it. I think I didn't miss much. But like I said, I think... Having the movable fingers only on the 2000 version is kind of weird. 
I feel like they should offer it with the 1200 at least. And just a lot of the stuff it comes with is very light. And I think it should have came with more personally. But again, JND, they're kind of like, they're, they like it being simplistic. And then another thing is having three SKUs is also, I don't like that either. Like having three different sets to choose from is again, just like too much. Like I feel like they should have just had at least two sets, but that's just my thoughts. It's been 15 minutes already, which is kind of insane. I spoke a lot there, but let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about it? What do you think about the likeness so far? I, like I said, I can zoom in as far as I can, but it's kind of an upward angle photo. So it's hard to, to kind of get what you're saying. But um, that's kind of the closest you see the smiling one. And it looks good. It looks very good. Like it, it's probably the best likeness Heath we have, obviously, because this company is insane when it comes to that stuff. And you're obviously getting the silicone. And then the last controversy I will say is we don't even know what the silicone, what it will, how it will last in 20 years time, which has been another controversy for a lot of people out there. So yeah, let me know all of your thoughts about it. I think it's interesting. Um, I think after everything I've said, I am, I am just out on this. It's not for me in our, in my eyes, it kind of just in just me after seeing the prices on these ones, I was like, I actually value my inner arts higher. I think it's, I, I like the value of what I paid for now even better. Cause before you're like, you're paying a thousand, a hundred for two figures. Obviously that's a big difference. So how we're used to with hot toys, but this is like a whole different, this is like an evolution to the next step. So yeah, a lot, a lot of fun stuff. But like I said, I just think that J and D for me is not, it's not, I don't need to have the silicone. I don't need to have that seamless look. I think the inner one, I don't need to have that movable neck, the movable fingers. Like I don't really care as much for stuff like that. I know other people do, which is perfectly fine, obviously, but I think in my eyes, it's not the, the movable stuff, the silicone. It's cool. It's cool to see, but it's not something where I technically be like, oh my God, I need to get this stuff. Like it's that much of a big difference. So that's not, that's not, that's how I look at it, but yeah, that might be different for other people. But like I said, that was a lot to again. Let me know your thoughts on this. I think this is extremely controversial with the Joker. Are you just out? Is this not for you? Are you happy for people who can spend the money? But in my eyes, I think that this is, for me, overpriced. I'm happy with the in art. I think you get a shit ton more with the in art, and I don't need this. I just really don't. As good as it is, I was, like I said, was tempted to throw my hat in the ring with JD, but once I saw the prices, I don't think so. I, I can't do it unless it's like something different. Like, I don't know, maybe a Henry Cowell, maybe, a, maybe a, a Robert Pattinson. If they, they threw their hat into that, that would be interesting. But I just think that the in art in my eyes, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with what I have up here. I think he looks beautiful. I think the rooted hair is great. Nothing here on the rooted hair is like, I don't think it's miles better than the inner at all. The accessories are just not in comparison. They fail in comparison to the inner in my eyes. The only thing that's the biggest seller here for me the dogs i need the dogs no i'm just kidding i think it's the just obviously likeness i think it's going to be better maybe a little bit better and just the presence itself like the figure itself does look very very appealing and i know there's going to be people out there who are going to spend that 800 dollars for that single pack i think that's in my eyes if you have to choose the out of the three i'd go single and just call it a day but yeah i don't want to keep this too long thank you all for watching that's my thoughts let me know everything in the comments i know it's going to be Super controversial. So let me know. Do you hate this? Do you love this? Do you hate my take? Do you love my take? Regardless, hit the like button if you're still there. Hit the like if you're hyped for all this figure news. And hit that subscribe button because we're about to get 3K. But thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey,